Surgery is difficult. Whatever surgery is always a stressful job. But what I think important is the feedback from the patient. I think that affect our professional life. The thing I want to discuss with you is, uh, I think surgery is difficult. Whatever, whether it's a penile implant or the uh, retinal prostatectomy, whatever surgery is always a stressful job because you don't know what will happen. Yeah. It's a Pandora's box, right? But what I think important is the feedback from the patient. I think that is <laughs> that feedback affect our professional life. Actually, so far I have seen uh, the net. many many doctors for their personal for their human being, for their psychology, being a doctor was very important for them. Let's say me, Sean Park, doctor's part of my life is gone. Who am I? I don't know. And that happens to so many of us because our profession means a lot to us, mm. isn't it? It is, yeah. On top of that, because of that fact, I think patient reactions, patient responses, patient feedbacks to us after the surgery which is a very, very unique process. We put a hand into someone's body, mess it up, or sometimes recover it, or sometimes destroy it, or sometimes take something out, sometimes give them something else, then put it back. A surgeon and a patient has a some very unique relationship yeah. after the surgery. I can't describe it. it. He's not my family. He's not my friend. He was nobody before I met him. But after such a we become a, such an intimate relationship. His feedbacks were affecting my life, were affecting a doctor's life, surgeon's life. That's what I've seen. Because uh, I've seen many oncologists, good friend of mine. They were such a joyful you know, guy, such a merrily guy. They were always good at, good at joking. They loved the sports. They loved everything. You know, they were lively people. But I met them about six months ago. Mm. He was with my, uh, with my residency. He was my senior. He became an a, a oncologist. He's not the person I know before. Yeah. It's been 10 years since I met him. So I was so surprised. What happened to him? His parents are fine. He had no digester, so called. He is healthy. He has a good wife, a beautiful wife, and makes a lot of money. Maybe that is a reason. <laughs> <laughs> he, has a, he has a lovely, adorable yeah. two children. Yeah. And he got everything in his life. But still, the view, point of view he had, or the, when he talked about, spoke about the patients, he wasn't the person I know before. He was almost like gave it up, give, getting a good reactions or feedbacks from his patients. Ah, they will always say it's so painful. Yeah. They, I lost this, I lost that. Even though he saved a patient's life. Yes, I think it plays a big role because, um, as you said, in this part of medicine, or um, with, uh, I mean, oncology, um, sometimes you just prolong the life of the patient, but not improve the quality of life. And you cannot improve the quality of life because sometimes you even make the quality of life worse by taking out the prostate and make the patient incontinent or even impotent mm. or both. Mm. And what we are doing, mm. and I think that makes a difference, we improve the quality of life of the patient. We do not save his life, mm. not directly, indirectly, for sure, mm. but we give him his uh, life back his active life and his sexual life mm. and that is what I'm talking to the patient the normal human as you said human being um, has abilities to eat to drink to mm. have a sex this mm. is normal it's not a shame mm. and this altogether makes the people happy mm. this is the, the the quality of life mm. which we can give the patients mm. back mm. so and I think this is the main point mm. which separates us and of course if you have the feedback from your patient and he see the patient who is uh, maybe uh, uh, happier as before the surgery then uh, and you are happier because I mean you did something good in this life 
you make somebody happy and and not unhappy and this is very important for everybody for each doctor and yeah, uh, I think we, this is a privilege which we have uh, mm. with our profession mm. we see we've seen dr. Wilson for like uh, you've seen him like a uh, for the past 10 years I've seen him like a for for past almost seven eight years now he becomes happier person every year yeah. Yes, it's which true. which he wasn't like that when I first saw him. You know, yeah. he was a very on the edge. He was really strict, straightforward guy, pragmatic, absolute ruthless pragmatism. Mm -hmm. Nothing else is accepted. But every year, he becomes more relaxed. He becomes more happier person than before. I was wasn't able to understand the reason why. I was always try to learn from him. I was always try to see the reason why he becomes happy. But I guess mm -hmm. he has so many, so many prosthetic urologists as his children. And he's getting a better feedback from his children every year because every single of them, they are happy with the prosthetic practice rather than the other practices. Not because of making money. Money is a very valuable thing and important thing, but at some point, uh, you can't really be happier just with the money, right? You want a happier life. But as a surgeon, we cannot detach it from the patient. That's why my job, I think I love my job. Because uh, my patients, <laughs> in my eyes, they are not the happiest person right after the surgery. I have to admit that. After, you know, a, yeah. of the next day or three days later, they complain about the pain, you know, they what's going on and all these things. But the timing I love to see them is uh, six, what, six months after the surgery. Because uh, I wasn't that happy after I become a urologist. Mm -hmm. I was in residency. Uh, my training hospital was uh, uh, a center for uh, about 7 million mm -hmm. population. There was only one center for the prostate cancer and the oncology urology center. That we were the only one. So yeah. I've seen a lot of patients with the oncology. Yeah. Some of them were very grateful, very few of them, but most of them were keep complaining, complaining, complaining about the difficulties. As a doctor, to, to be, you know, I wasn't able to understand that. We saved your life, but they were not happy. I know uh, oncology is a valuable job, an important job, to be honest with you. I'm think, I think that I'm, I'm very lucky that I didn't walk that path. Uh, years after, I became a prosthetic urologist and I uh, focused on the penile implant. After surgery, uh, after six months later, they were so happy. Even though I didn't save their life, like, like the, with the cancer surgeries, I didn't, you know, only I put the penile implant and uh, my patients, you know, they, it's not covered by the insurance. They have to pay their, their cash. So even so, they were very grateful of what I did. I was perplexed. I, I was, you know, confusion. I wasn't able to really understand the reason why. But now I understand it better. Because more and more, uh, South Korea became more economically developed the country. Yeah. I think now, now many people are asking and the demanding, why do we leave? And usually the question comes to the end of the answers of the happiness. And what's the happiness? How to live a happy life? It's like you said, uh, the basic needs should be met. Like uh, uh, we can enjoy uh, a meal, we can enjoy a good uh, a physical fitness, and also we want a self-esteem. We want a good relationships. We want a solid and happy bodily functions. I guess that is the reason why they are happier than before. They want to live a, a happy life rather than just extending their life.